and don't forget to like and subscribe. Hello there, Halloween 2018. And I've already said my piece about the Halloween naming scheme. Oh my gosh. But Halloween 2018. Now this one, this one starts out like a real slasher. I gotta say, Ooh. I gotta say, I absolutely do love how this one does go straight into it. And the fact that he kills indiscriminately in this one. This one is 40 years after, because there are plenty of Halloween uh, universes. There are five in total. Uh, that's even including Season of the Witch. Uh, yeah, but it's 40 years after, you know, at the, the, the first movie, 40 years after. And he's in the hospital. Uh, a, a few a few hipster journalists are going to meet him, trying to have him speak so he can be set free because they feel like he's misunderstood. They feel like um, he was just a traumatic childhood and needs to be pitied and not, um, not forced to suffer for other people's acts. So, yeah, uh, that, that type of situation. So, they show him his mask and every, any, everything, but he has no reaction except for like a twitching ear. But all the other uh, insane inmates there all tend to howl, all tend to go insane as the mask is presented. Even a dog present goes nuts because they could probably feel how Michael Myers was. Did I say Michael Myers last time? Jason? I don't know. Forgive me if I said Jason in the last review. But <laughs> about Michael Myers, yeah, because. He has this, this feeling that normal people can't get, but the insane and dogs can read it. Uh, the dogs can read it. So he sees his mask, Halloween 40 years later, and then I guess he decides to return home. Oh, so he escapes and then starts just butchering everybody. Absolutely everybody. And it, it kind of started reminding me of the Joker in a bit because I kind of felt like the doctor seemed a little too fixated on it and the doctor becomes like a Harley Quinn someone who basically is willing to do anything for their patient even if it involves killing other people because they, they, they feel like it's right for them it's a, or not right for them but they, they're just being driven insane because the doctor wanted to find out what, what drives him to kill what's what joy does he get out of killing that he ends up trying to kill some like killing someone himself but it's just like, okay, I think I, I think I get it. He takes off Michael Myers' mask and puts it on himself. It's just like, okay. Yeah, so he's just on a total rampage. The, then he, uh, basically the doctor takes Michael Myers to, well, not really, because Michael Myers kills him, but takes or drives him close enough to Jamie Lee Curtis's house. Out in the country, I guess. And yeah, they, they try to trap him and kill him there. They try to take him out. Uh, oh yeah, one more thing, Jamie Lee Curtis has a daughter and a granddaughter who don't like her because she's gotten completely paranoid, which honestly, I do like the fact that she had, suffers from PTSD. She has been scarred by the, the past, and it's just like, this makes this makes sense. I, this is a past. But yeah, the her daughter and uh, granddaughter are there, or her daughter's there at least. Her daughter's husband gets killed by Michael Myers. The granddaughter is running away from Michael Myers. Michael Myers and, and gets into the house. They start hunting him, shooting him. And in my mind, immediately, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis has been preparing for this moment for 40 years. For 40 years. Yet she is walking in her house with a rifle. How is she gonna turn corners? How is she gonna, because literally, uh, Michael Myers could be standing right out of the doorway. As soon as the barrel comes through, She's not gonna see him. She can't see what the, the 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 barrel sees. No. So she's gonna continue walking, and then as she notices him from the corner of her eye, it's too late to turn around. You're gonna either hit a corner of the hall, or well, a knife is going in through your neck. So it's just like this is the dumbest thing ever. You say you've trained for 40 years, yet you're using a rifle indoors. That's what a handgun is for. Oh my gosh. Keep it, keep it locked to your body. You, you aim down your eye. It's just like you keep it close to yourself. You keep it close to yourself. So that way what you see, the barrel of your gun can get to immediately. You don't hold it out with your arm stretched like this. It just, you don't, you don't. And it's like, I've only fired a gun like once, 
poison in my life, but I even I know that. It's like seems like it seems like common sense. But then again, I did grow up around firearms and I was taught firearm safety and the right way to handle it, even though I've never really used them. I did learn how to, the good things to learn respect for firearms. But I do like this movie more. It's I think my favorite Halloween movie, just because the way it starts, the way it tends to continue, have a good rhythm. Except for the whole, I, I don't care for Jamie Lee Curtis. I absolutely don't care for her as a character. I don't think she should remain. If anything, they should have killed her off. I think it would have been nice to kill her off. And then the daughter gets her paranoia. And then in the sequel, her daughter dies off. And then in the, the, the what is it? The Halloween Ends, which is the final one. The granddaughter dies off in the process of trying to kill Michael Myers. An entire family tree destroyed trying to eradicate the, the the evil the evil creature the the human who has surpassed humanity with his you know mental state yeah so that, that would have been better i think i don't care for jamie lee curtis surviving they basically leave uh michael myers in a burnt house trapped because they set a trap for him that was the plan from the beginning <sighs> spoilers <laughs> still still fun i actually enjoy that one that one's definitely one i'll watch again Sure, there are issues with it, but it's a slasher, so you can I, I can understand why all the white people are completely done, done, dumb, completely retarded. White people in horror movies need to act a certain way. The only one with intelligence was the little black kid. Now, he was perfect because he ran the second he heard something. He did not stick around. It was like, the boogeyman's here, the boogeyman's here. The one thing that didn't make sense is like the boogeyman, uh, that he was saying the boogeyman was standing in the hall, and then, he went down the stairs to go get the babysitter. However, he had to run, would have had to run straight through Michael Myers to get the babysitter. And then the baby, he tells the babysitter to go check the room, make sure it's safe. The babysitter goes in there, starts choking with the kid. It's like, ah, he got me, he got me. And then he tells the babysitter to close the closet door. Apparently the babysitter never actually checked the room because Michael Myers was standing in the closet. And then a little guy basically bolts. He takes off immediately. It was like, okay, yeah. Perfect. Smart little kid. Smart little kid. Yeah, he, he, he's got the soul in him. A real soul in him. <laughs> Not like those dumb freaking white people in horror movies. They always make mistakes. Yeah, um, thank you all for watching. Talk to you next time. Doodles.